Hello friends, welcome to Bedtime Stories. Tonight's story time is all about Easter, which is in just a few days. Are you getting excited? I'm very excited. Today's first story is Corduroy's Easter by Don Freeman. You guys know Corduroy. Spring has sprung, Corduroy. The grass is turning green, flowers are growing, and the sun feels warm. Did you hear a robin? Where could it be? Uh, do you see a robin? Oh, look what I see. I see a flap. Can we turn this flap and see? Uh, behind the rock, is there a robin? Uh, nope, what's that? Just a frog. How about behind these flowers? Do you think there could be a robin there? Oh, we found him, there he is. Wow, we are good detectives. Corduroy and his friends are going to the playground. There are so many games to play outside, like flying this kite. What's under this kite? <gasps> it's a bunny. And what's under this sandbox? This bucket in the sandbox, what's under there? <gasps> what is that, a turtle? Oh my good, oh, there's something under the ball too. What could it be? It's a, uh, the robin. There it is again. Easter is coming and Corduroy and his friends want to decorate Easter eggs for the Easter Bunny. They have some shopping to do. Oops, it's raining. You better get your raincoats, boots, and umbrellas. Oh, there's some things to look at under here. We could look under this hat. Who's under here? Oh, there's Corduroy. And who's under here? Oh, his friend. And who's under this one? Another friend, the blue, is that a blue mouse? Lots of friends on this rainy day. When it's sunny again, they stop at the farm to buy fresh eggs. There are lots of new baby animals to meet. Oh, I see cows and chickens and wait a second, who's under this chicken? <gasps> Her eggs. And what's under this pile of hay? Let's look and see. It's, um, who's under there? Oh, <gasps> baby pigs. After they visit the farm, Corduroy and his friends go to the grocery store. They need jelly beans, chocolate bunnies, and a coloring kit for the eggs. Let's see. Oh, let's look under these, the cantaloupes. What's under the cantaloupes? Somebody's hiding in there eating an apple. And, oh, there's something under here. What's under here? Oh, another bunny hiding. So silly. Now it's time to color the eggs. Robin's egg blue, rose petal pink, sunshine yellow, and apple green. All the colors look so pretty. When they're finished, Corduroy leaves the eggs for the Easter Bunny to hide. Oh, we've got some things under here. What's under this cup? Oh, those are pink eggs. What color eggs are these? They're gonna be green. And what color are these eggs gonna be? <gasps> Purple. And what is behind this door? Is this door open? Oh. What's behind the door? Who's there? Oh, there's a bunny leaving an Easter basket. Oh my goodness. Look, the Easter bunny was here. Have Corduroy and his friends found all the eggs? What, look what Corduroy's found. Don't touch those eggs, Corduroy. Happy Easter, Robin Redbreast. Happy Easter, Corduroy. Let's see what's behind these daffodils. Oh, a bunny with an egg. And in this log is Easter egg. And how about under here? What's under here? Oh, I don't think those are for us. I think those are baby, baby birds in those eggs, huh? The end. All right. I have another Easter story with one of our favorite friends. Who is it? Curious George. Happy Easter, Curious George by Margaret and H.A. Ray. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. He lived with his friend, the man in the yellow hat. Today, George and the man were going to the park as a special treat. George was curious. The moment they got to the park, it was Easter and the park was full of people. There were so many bright colors and so many things for a little monkey to do. Children were flying kites high in the sky and decorating Easter baskets. They were even having races rolling eggs. Then George saw a small corral with a sign on it. What could be inside? A soft white bunny. He patted the bunny and fed it a carrot. But wait, what was this? 
people were dying Easter eggs, yellow and blue and pink. George was curious. He had never dyed Easter eggs before. George dyed one egg yellow. Then George had an idea. With yellow and red, he made orange. With yellow and blue, he made green. And with red and blue, he made purple. He dyed eggs as only a monkey can, four at a time. Then he painted the eggs with swirls and with polka dots and with stars. They looked brightly colored, like brightly colored balls. George could not resist. He even juggled them. Oh no, shouted a money. The Easter a woman, the Easter bunny is gone. But George didn't notice because just then he saw a man losing one egg and then another and then even more eggs. In an instant, George grabbed a basket and began to help the man find them. Oh no, George. I think he was hiding them for the egg hunt. George found eggs here and he found eggs there. He'd almost collected them all when a boy said, hey, that monkey's taking the Easter eggs. Stop, thief. George was so busy that he did not even hear him. Then he saw another egg, a white egg under some bushes, perfect for dying. Uh-oh. It wasn't an egg at all. It was a bunny's tail. How surprised George was. He patted the bunny and he placed it in his basket on top of the eggs. Hey, that monkey found the Easter bunny, said a girl. Hooray, cried a boy. Everyone congratulated George. Now that the Easter bunny is safe and sound, George, said the man with the yellow hat, can you hide all of the eggs you gathered so the children can find them? For this job, he was lucky to be a monkey. George hid the eggs in all the places that a curious monkey would. It was the best egg hunt ever. After the hunt, George and the man with the yellow hat waved goodbye to their friend. As George and his friend drove away, the children waved back, calling out, Happy Easter, George! The end. Don't you love Curious George? I love Curious George. Okay, our last story for Easter is... The Great Easter Egg Scramble. And this is by Timothy Knappman and David Walker. And I don't know if you can see, but there's lots of sparklies on here. Sparkly glitter. I don't know if you can probably can't see it too well. Any book with sparkly glitter is good, right? Okay. It's Easter Bunny's party today and all his friends are on their way. He's made them cakes and buns and sweets, ice cream fudge and chocolate treats. Look, swings and slides to play on too. A merry-go-round so much to do. Then he lifts a cloth and sees with a shiver the basket of eggs he was meant to deliver. Oh no. He gets on his whizzy wheeled super quick bike and scrambles off down the road fast as you like. Brown is for chicken, duck shell is blue, the green egg is met for Mrs. Emu. Crocodiles is yellow, turtles is white, and the egg for the penguins is cold. That's right. Let's hope Easter Bunny won't scramble the rhyme. Brown is for Emu. Oh, look at the time. Mrs. Chicken, I'm sorry I'm late, Bunny cries. Thanks for the egg, she says. My, what a size. She sits down to warm it. She knows what to do. It hatches. And out comes a baby emu. Oh no, he delivered the wrong egg. But Bunny is off and he's reached Mrs. Duck. You've brought me an egg, Easter Bunny, what luck. But a duck's egg's not yellow and big as a rock. And when it cracks open, <gasps> great snakes, it's a crock. Uh-oh, another mistake. Now the emus are happy, an egg they both sigh, but their little house is all tidy and dry. How will they feel when they find their new daughters, a turtle who splashes the whole place with water? Uh-oh. Mrs. Crocodile sunning herself by the river when Bunny calls by with an egg to deliver. It's blue and it's small, and was that a cluck? What have you given her, Bunny? A duck! Ugh. The egg for the turtle is cold. Is that right? I don't think so. Do you remember what the cold egg was for? Do you remember who it was for? <gasps> Hot ones or cold ones, they're all a delight. But then the egg opens and oh dearie me, out strides a penguin as proud as can be. Quick, the last of the eggs is beginning to hatch. 
No time to start, penguin. Sorry, penguins here. Catch! And off bunny rides of a party to run. Come along later, you're sure to have fun. Then the egg splits apart and the penguins both shout as wow, a poor frozen chicken pops out. So everyone's got the wrong baby. Oh dear, and no one's enjoying the party. That's clear. It's up to Bunny to sort out this mess. He says, onto the merry-go-round, children, yes. He gives it a spin. They go whizzing past. Now everyone's got the right baby at last. The end. I hope you enjoyed Easter story time and I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get lots of hugs and lots of chocolate and you have lots of fun with your Easter Bunny visit. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.